What's up, peers, and welcome back here to the World Crypto Network, continuing our conversation of the awesome cold card wallet, the true offline signing hardware device for your Bitcoin stash. Uh, so the cool thing here is we also can do very secure backup systems. And yesterday, we've talked about the nuances of the design decisions uh, that were made when doing this backup. Uh, with, uh, it's encrypted with a very strong randomly number generated password uh, in a 7-zip archive. Uh, so you can only back it or you can only reveal the secrets on here with a 12-word monomic seed. That is very nice design. Uh, and the cool thing is that with the cold card together here, with the cold card wallet, uh, there is also in the CoinKite and the store.coinkite.com, uh, you can get a bundle of cold cards together with these right here, uh, micro SD cards that are industrial grade and near extinguishable uh, or, or indestructible. Um, rare level and block man uh, so, uh, management, environmentally tested on bend, torque, salt spray, solar radiation, and harsh temperatures between minus 40 and plus 85 degrees. These are industrial grade uh, SD cards. And they only contain, or they only have, I think, 518 megabytes of, of storage because they are so rugged and near indestructible. Uh, so that is really nice to have this for your long-term secure backup of your HODL stash. And again, because you can generate all this magic on the cold card itself, it is truly a cold backup, uh, which is very nice. Uh, so, peers, let's get right into it. All right. So, uh, I, unfortunately, my industrial grade cards are still stuck uh, in customs, uh, which are horrible and, well, taxation is theft. Uh, but I have right here just a regular SD card, which you can use now especially for testing. Uh, but of course, for the long term, we really want to be uh, secure. Uh, so plugging SD card in here. And we can go to the advanced tab in the main menu. Uh, OK. And here, the third option will be the backup. And here we have different options. Uh, to back up the system, to verify a backup, uh, then also to restore a backup, right? and to dump the summary. Uh, the summary that we have is, for example, which public keys and which master key fingerprints uh, and stuff like this, uh, as we've talked about earlier. But for now, we will do a backup of the system. Uh, and it will show you now 12 English words, right, that are chosen from the monomic word list. Uh, and uh, of course, you have to write them down, right? Clearly label that. Uh, and I would also number uh, uh, the words so that you can uh, clearly uh, well, know exactly which word is at uh, what level. Uh, I'll be back in just one second with the magic of editing. Okay, and then when you have done the proper paper backup, or even better, a metal backup, uh, then you can uh, press down here on check, but uh, there will triple and quadruple check that you actually have written down all your words. And as is good security design, there will be a test uh, for you to type in every single word. Uh, so make really, really a lot sure that you actually have all this setup. Uh, so clicking right here on OK, uh, it again asks you or it, it proposes three different words. And it says, which of these three words is word number three uh, on your paper backup? Uh, and then you press the key one, two, three uh, to do the verification that you have actually written down, uh, which I will be doing now. OK, then it will be encrypting uh, your device. So that was rather fast. And it will flash right here the little SD card slot. Uh, that will then gener or make sure that we actually have done uh, a proper uh, backup uh, or that we have done a read-write action on this. Uh, so to view or to restore the file, you must have the password, of course. Uh, insert another SD card and press 2 to make another copy. Uh, so that would be really cool, right? That's why, by the way, here on in the store, they actually sell uh, them always in bundles of two. So you get one coin card, a cold card, and then you can get two micro SDs. Or in this bundle, you get three cold cards and you get six micro SDs. It makes sense to have redundant backups, uh, especially when they are well encrypted. Uh, so this, again, very nice security design. Uh, but for now, we do not really want to do a second copy. Uh, so we just press Enter. And that's it. Uh, we now see uh, on uh, if we go to micro card, micro SD card, and the last option here in the menu is to list the files. Uh, then we see that there is exactly one file on there, uh, and that is the backup of the 7-zip. Uh, and really cool. Okay, so now we could import or export this SD card onto our laptop uh, and then make sure that we uh, 
Oh, well, uh, and then we could decrypt it there, but we've done that last video. Uh, so what we can do now is to verify the backup. Uh, and then what it will tell you right here, select the file containing the backup to be verified. No password will be required. There is only one file to pick from. Well, okay, that makes it easy. So we pick the seven, uh, the backup file. And so the backup file CRC checks out, so some hash sums. Please note that this is only a check against accidental uh, truncation and similar. Uh, so if, if you, for example, uh, cut off one of the bits, then this check would fail. Targeted modifications can still pass this test. Okay, so this is only somewhat of a test uh, for basic use if, if anything got wrong uh, while transferring the file. Uh, but if someone really wants to uh, target you, attack or target you directly, then uh, this is not a sufficient check. So then what we can do next after we have done the check would be to restore the backup. Okay, so that is the third option here in the backup menu. Again, reading from the text right here. You must clear the wallet seed before restoring a backup because it replaces the seed value and the old seed would be lost. Uh, visit the advanced menu and choose destroy seed. Okay, so we first have to actually destroy the seed that is on this device. Uh, again, risky stuff, but this is how secure element of, uh, elements work, right? You can only roll over, uh, over the security chip. Uh, so we then go to the uh, danger zone, I would presume. Uh, yes, danger zone and the third, third option is right here to destroy the seed, uh, which we will do. And please empty the duress wallet and clear uh, the duress pin before clearing the main seat. Uh, well, okay, I guess we also have to do this. Um, okay, well, you know what? Uh, we will have to do this in a separate video, um, to going through all, or well, entering out all these wallets and how to securely then uh, reinstate a backup. Uh, we can do all this then in one of the next videos. Uh, but for now, uh, this is how you can do a secure backup. And again, go back in the next video at, or, or in the previous video to show how you could from hand on a computer, uh, make sure that you have right here uh, your backup on this SD card. So Piers, this is it. This is how you do a secure backup of the cold card wallet. Uh, and then as soon as you erase all the duress pins uh, and you write over the seed uh, of the cold card, so you wipe it again, then you can easily import uh, the backup by typing in the mnemonic words of your password. Uh, very nice. Uh, so Piers, uh, make sure that you get yourself your hands on them clicky buttons by getting one of these cold cards, uh, probably especially in the bundle. That just makes a lot of sense. Uh, and for me, that was uh, especially nice because we team up with coin card, uh, with, with coin card, with coin kite cold card uh, to give you one of 10 uh, open or free gratis uh, test units of the model, uh, of the cold card, so to say, and we do so, but only if you are an open source contributor. So make sure that you are one uh, and then reach out to us why you would like to have one of these awesome uh, cold storage devices. Peers, if you have questions about all this, you can call the HODL hotline uh, with hourly consulting with Bitcoin peers. And I'm one of these many peers here. And for a humble donation of 1.5 million Satoshis, uh, you can have a hour-long conversation and ask all the questions that you have. Uh, also, if you would like to see more of the shows that we do at Bitcoin Family Gatherings, and if you would like to see the uh, quality increase, you can get uh, or you can join the fundraiser for a new microphone uh, to make sure that we have as good quality as we have right here in the studio, but on the road as well. Piers, as always, thank you very much for joining me here today and see you on the next show. Bye-bye.